So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking image optimization, specifically geotagging. So geotagging is a really powerful way of being able to add location information to photos. And the location information that you can add can either relate to your photography business location, like your studio address, your gallery address, um, or in the case of wedding photographers, it could relate to the venues that you've photographed a wedding at. There's a couple of ways to do this. And one of the ways not to do it is to use an online tool. We're going to use Lightroom instead. A couple of ways that it can be used. And they're both important. So what I would recommend you do is set up your import presets to add your business location information, which means at least if you don't do any other optimization, the photos are all going to be geotagged to your business location. And then I'm going to show you how to um, optimize the photos in terms of adding the geotag for wedding locations as well. So we're just going to import, set these photos up to be imported here. And if you look in the right hand side where we've got metadata, there's a selection of different settings that we can choose. And um, we can kind of go in here and just look at better, further information. So I'm just going to click on edit presets. And what I want to do is have a look at the weddings 2019 preset. So every photo that gets imported, I want it to be set up to have the business location address, and I've updated this for Glasgow, and also to have the copyrighted information set up. So the, the photos are set to be copyright and they're not suitable for non-commercial use only. Um, there's a link to my website address. We want to make sure that's a correct link as well that matches the canonical of your website. And I've also got my address details in here. So what I would say is if you don't have your location um, information online, um, you don't want to be putting your address in here because otherwise that's going to be um, findable online, you know, if somebody's looking at metadata. So that information is in there as well. And the way that you would find out these coordinates is just by going to Google Maps. And we're just going to type in just maps and look for my business on Google Maps. So whatever you're doing a search for, it should come up with your local area. If it doesn't, then you can just um, do a search for your business. But if we just zoom in here, so we can see my business is just, just over here and we just want to click on the map pin. So when we click on the pin and it goes red, we can then right click on our trackpad and click on what's here. And what you'll see at the bottom of the, the screen here is some map coordinates. Now, actually those are not quite specific enough. It's come up for Ruskin Lane. So we're just going to zoom in just a little bit closer just make sure it's actually coming up with the correct details still on Ruskin Lane for some reason. So you do want to make sure this is, is correct to your list and right. So that's way closer. Um, we click on what's here now. So that is now the correct address. So then copy that exact um, latitude and longitude. Now I'm not going to copy this in a video because the recording software actually blocks this at the bottom and I can't really do a copy and paste. However, I have set it up already. So if we head over to Lightroom, we can see that's here. So everything's kind of set up within there to add the location data. So we're going to import these with this preset selected. So we're just going to click import. And we've now got our four, four photos with the correct um, geo geotagging. So if we go over to the map module, which is just after develop, and we click on one of these photos, it should come up with the correct location. So we can see there that four photos are shown up for Glasgow. And if we zoom in a little bit, So we can see that the four photos are connected to my business location. Now, the thing is, though, these photos weren't actually taken at my business location. And I, th I don't think it's going to be helpful for them to maybe show up from a business location because they were taken at um, a cool urban location in Manchester. So say I wanted to correct these. So say you've I've imported a batch of photos and there's a selection within those photos that I want to correct to a specific location. What I can do um, on the map module is type in the location that is correct. 
Now, I don't know the exact address, so I'm going to type in what's near it. We've got Manchester Town Hall. So we're just going to click on the, the extension here and find the location where I took these photos. Now, they were photographed um, in the entrance of the library. So you see this round uh, Manchester Central Library building here. And then there's like this gra grass um, roof on the new Town Hall extension next to it. And the photos were taken at the entrance to this. So I want to make sure that the location is really accurate. So what I can do is drag this photo to the correct location. And what you're going to see is the geotag information update. OK, so now that that is been added to there and if we hover over it, you see it's been updated. And if we look over on the right hand side, the GPS data has changed. So if we look at the previous photo, the coordinates are for Glasgow. And then if we look at this one, the map coordinates are different and that's for that correct location. And if it's not quite right, you can always zoom in a little bit more. You can zoom in in the map and see actually it wasn't quite there. It was between the gates. It was more like there-ish. And you can just kind of move it and it will correct. And then that can be exported. And it means that although you still want to be optimizing the photo with an accurate file name pertaining to the location, alt text is relevant to the location, also text on the, the actual page or post that it's attached to that's relevant to the location as well. But having the, the geotagging, it's just another kind of box that's ticked. It's some, just another kind of level of um, reinforcing the accuracy of where that photo should be shown for. So that's going to be really helpful. And I would recommend that wedding photographers do that for wedding venues. And you can also be really specific. So for example, the, this couple um, had their photos taken at various locations around their venue. So they got married at Albert Square Chop House, which is um, just at the top here where I've got my cursor. And they had a portrait shoot where we used quite a few different locations around the town hall and the library and um, a few cool different locations in other streets. And this is a great way of being really specific about where those photos were taken because you can just drag the photos to the exact spot. And then when, if, you know, if people are looking on the, the map view and they're looking for inspiration about photos in different locations, then you've got a chance of your photos showing up. So it's a really powerful thing. I would highly recommend it um, for any kind of photography that's kind of pertaining to locations that, that you don't want to kind of keep secret or anything. Um, if you kind of work from a studio and you do newborn portraits, then the kind of my recommendation would be that you use the geotag coordinates for your studio. And then if somebody's searching for your studio, then those photos are going to show as well. OK, so if you've got any questions about that, you can um, ask in the Facebook group or shoot me an email. But I hope that helps. And I'd love to know how you get on with adding your geotag location within Lightroom. Awesome. Look forward to speaking to you in the next tutorial.